Okay, so for the last 30 days, we have pushed ourselves really hard. We focused on our diet, we focused on target areas, we focused on our intensity, we focused on keeping positive, making small changes, and now we're just going to keep on going. Today, we're going to do a rep challenge. It's going to be super hard, super intense, but we're going to keep pushing and keep focusing all week. We're going to keep focusing on the rep challenges and working on target areas that you've asked us for. So we're talking inner thighs, outer thighs, abs, arms, all of these areas we're going to cover this week so let's start with the rep challenge today let's push really hard keep focused keep motivated and then get your scores on the website and let's see what we can do today are you ready oh let's go God, that is super hard. Such an awesome exercise. Oh, my inner thighs, my outer thighs, my back of my arms. Oh. So what we're going to do now is hopefully you're sweating as much as me and you've pushed really hard, get your time on the website, I want to see what it is. So what I'm going to do now is work you through what we did and modify it for those that are just starting out with us or that don't have the equipment. Don't you worry, I'm going to give you some variations so there are no excuses, everyone can take part. Are we ready? Okay, so our first exercise, a one, two, three with spider knee. So, ready? in your plank position, get in your press up position, abs nice and tight, core locked, are we ready? You're going to go one, two, three with the legs and then the leg stays out, one press up, one, two, three, one press up, oh I'm sweating, okay for those of you that are just starting out, don't you worry, you're going to go down onto your knees and you're going to go one, two, three and then on your knees, one press up. That's what you're going to do, okay? So, that's your modification. Those of you that are really, really, really wanting to push, you can do that on a ball, you can do it on your station. Really try to mix it up and push yourself. Okay, so second exercise. 10 mountain climbs with two lunges. Grab your sandbag. Core nice and tight. Are we ready? 10 mountain climbs, touching the floor every time. As soon as you've done 10, one clean. Up you go. One lunge. Core nice and tight. Other lunge, core nice and tight. If you find that you're wobbling when you do your lunge, keep your back here, lunge back. Those of you that haven't got a sandbag, no problem. Onto your toes or on your knees if you prefer. Core nice and tight, 10 mountain climbs. You're gonna come up and then just lunge back. Lunge back, that's absolutely fine. That's your modification for that one. Are we ready? Third exercise. Okay, third exercise. This was the hardest one for me. Working our inner, outer thighs, arms, abs. Grab your sandbag. Core nice and tight. Engage. 
toes slightly pointed out, squat down, and as you come up, lift the bag, and as the bag goes up, one leg goes out. So, this is how it looks. Squat down, engage your core. If this is too hard for you to lift the bag and do the legs at the same time, just hold the bag here, sit back, take the leg out. That's absolutely fine. If you don't have a sandbag, you can use a different weight, or just hold your hands here, out you go. You'll still feel the burn, believe me. You'll still feel it on your bum, your inner thigh, everywhere. It's killer. That's the hardest one out of all of these. Okay, so fourth exercise. I'll put you a few abs in there for those of you that are asking for them. This is my favourite ab exercise. I'm using my equaliser. You can use your dip station or two chairs. Be creative. So, what you're going to do is come up, engage your core, and then as you come down, you're going to take one foot, to, both feet to the side, bring it back to centre, both feet to the opposite side. Down. If you want it harder, don't touch the floor on the dip. If you want it easier, you can do touch the floor, then take it out to the side, lift up, touch the floor, take it out to the side. You can do that, that's absolutely fine. For those of you that haven't got a dip station, we're working on our abs. So what I'm gonna give you is a floor ab exercise for you to do. So, you're gonna come down on the floor, engage your core, you're gonna come up, and you're gonna reach over and come down. You're gonna come up, reach over, and come down. That's gonna be your variation, okay? If you still find this for difficult, just come up and then go down, making sure that you look into the ceiling, engaging your core, breathing all the time, and that's it. Okay, so there's quite a few of you who, no matter how many diet plans I put in my Facebook, you still need a little bit of help with your diet, but that's fine. So I'm gonna help you, and for me, I work very visual, so I'm, I had an idea, wait there. Okay, so for those of you that need some help with your diet, I've got an idea for you. Take your plate, don't draw on it, but this is how it should look. So every meal time, you are gonna split your plate up into sections. So you're gonna have veg, you're gonna have protein, you're gonna have whole grain, and you're gonna have fruit. So this is how your plate is gonna look. On top of that, you're going to have six glasses of water every single day if you can. Now, what I would do is every time you have a glass of water, put a little stick. This is a board marker, so it comes off, don't worry. <laughs> don't draw on your mum's and dad's cups. <laughs> so, put a little line every time you have one to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water, flushing out those toxins. This is very important. Try and stay away from those soft drinks. Get some water inside you. So, if you want to see how this looks, I'm going to start posting some pictures of my food on my Facebook, all the portion sizes and how each day would look. Because sometimes I would sacrifice whole grain for more salad, etc. If you want to see that, it'd be on my Facebook and on Sean's Facebook and on the website. Okay, so that's it. I thought that might help you a little bit to try and sort out your diet this week because we're still pushing and we're still working hard. Let's see some more results. Let's not give up. Um, and that's it. I hope that helps.